this copycat. So a way to ensure that your work stays your work <laughs> and that you're the only one who gets... What's up beautiful people out there, it's me Uchad and today we're going to be reacting to a few Furious newest video, it's called Is Your Kick Illegal? Now whatever the heck that means, I have absolutely no idea, but in order to find out what the heck that actually means, we have to watch the video. <laughs> so let's get straight into it. The original link is in the description below. So here's one fact for you, the word yup is trademarked. Yep, the yup is what? a trademarked word by one of the guys from the show Storage Wars. Really? In fact, he battled against a rapper in court to get the trademark for that word. Dang. Crazy, right? Another fun fact, 20% I mean, of your I can understand from where he is coming Even from. Discovered DNA, thought that this was a bad idea, but companies went ahead and did it anyway. So, okay, you can trademark a word and you can patent your genes, but can you copyright a king? Dang. That, my friends, is the question that will be snapped. Probably. The name, the Brett name. I love this music. Yeah, I tried to play. <laughs> A non existent sure guitar. Everything is actually made of cake, except for the arguments. Those are rock solid. No, you probably didn't wake up this morning. Yeah, because they're not physical. They're mental, I think. I, get it. I didn't think I'd ever have to be making is that the right phrase? about cake law. But sometimes the universe comes in like a wrecking ball and plops an incredible food theory onto your lap, leaving you with little choice but to run with it. Such was the case with today's episode. That made no See, sense, I think. Miley Cyrus posted a picture Ugh. of a cake on her Instagram to announce an update. That's actually nice between Planned Parenthood, fashion designer Mark Jacobs, and her own organization, the Happy Hippie Foundation. The kick itself was circular. Happy the Hippie Foundation! And the words, abortion is healthcare on top. So it was certainly an eye-catching post. What? Simply, but also just your standard fair Instagram post. Or so, so she supports abortion. Days later, another user, okay. at the sweet feminist, made this accusation. Quote, Miley Cyrus just announced a collaboration with Mark Jacobs, Planned Parenthood, Happy Hippie Foundation, using this image. It is a direct theft of my own original artwork from May 2018 with oh, no really? credit. It's literally my exact handwriting, message, and concept. Huh. Swipe for comparison. Cake art is for everyone, but this is inexcusable. <laughs> now, the sweet feminist is the handle behind the Washington Did Miley DC know about this? Rebecca Ray Holloway. She describes herself as, quote, a self-taught baker with a passion for mixing sugar and strong opinions. <laughs> One look at Ray Holloway's account will give you a pretty If I had to describe myself, I would Say, she makes a cake or a pie, good question. I mean, I never thought about it. Give me one day and I'll probably come up with something. And then she proceeds to get a lot of likes on Instagram. And sure enough, a makes sense. Miley's post, Ray Holloway posted a photo of a cake that looks pretty much identical to Cyrus's abortionist healthcare design. Same white pink frosting, same sprinkles, same message written on top. How does he do that? And it underlined is. And when Cyrus caught wind of Ray Holloway's accusation, she seemed to agree. She apologized publicly. To Ray Holloway huh. and edited the post to include credit for the original artist. What she did do was provide any kind of compensation. For Ray Holloway, oh. the apology and the credit were no longer enough. She said, quote again, this was not an oversight. It was blatantly and willfully neglectful and deceitful. I would have you can't be sure, though. Come on now. Project, and at the end, she didn't apologize and give you credit. Like, compensation. the comments on the Sweet Feminist's post were filled with Isn't that enough? Ray Holloway to seek legal counsel and sue Miley and her team for breach of copyright. And the story became regional, national, and even international news. Really? Like those big headlines hit, the story Dang. kind of faded away. Sweet Nothing feminist. Really seemed to come out of it. Or at the very least, no one followed up on the story. It's unclear whether Ray Holloway actually pursued the issue any further after the whole copyright fiasco hit the fan. So, you know what? I'm interested to know. Did the sweet feminist's Instagram followers have a point here? Does Ray Holloway have grounds to sue? At first, they did have a point, but then they overdid it. The and if a person can and indeed, copyright a cake, what are the implications? That looks for amazing, other bro. Hope you Dang. came hungry for knowledge, food theorists. It's I already ate, thank you. You're not gonna make me hungry this time, Matt. What Bat. exactly is 
copyright anyway. By definition, a copyright is something that belongs to you. Right given to the originator of a work to print, publish, oh, okay, film, okay. or record literary, artistic, or musical material, and to authorize others to do the same. Basically, it's a safeguard Dang. against copycats. A way to ensure that your work stays your work, <laughs> and that you're the only one who gets to let other people use that work. Though you can file a copyright with the U.S. Copyright Office, you actually don't have to. It's an automatic right that goes to you as soon as you create a copyrightable work. Now, YouTube copyright strikes are one example that you've probably heard a lot about, but copyright yes. is all around us. It covers books, movies, TV shows, music, computers... That logo that has a C on it. So, copyright covers a lot of creative arenas, and that means that there's no shortage of legal gray areas to theorize about. It's more intimidating than Trump. We talk about whether Fortnite was stealing and profiting off of copyrighted dances. They aren't. And on film theory, we talk about whether memes were legal under copyright law. They should be via fair use. So really, talking about the nuances of yes. copyright law is just a rite of passage for any theory channel. And today, it's Food Theory's turn. Welcome to the fold, buddy. Incidentally, another theory channel rite of passage is promoting the Game Theory Million Dollar Challenge to support St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. They already did this, right? Huge event, it's an amazing thing. The biggest thing. event that these channels have ever covered is happening live Tuesday, December 1st. Theorists, this is a huge project that we've been putting our hearts and souls into all throughout this year. Not only does it feature tons of YouTube creators that you know and love, totally hey, Rhett and Link. Nice. All together, but there's also plenty for all you food lovers to enjoy. For instance, cake decorating challenges were saddled with some pretty unique sabotages. So be sure that you're tuning in to our sister channel, Oh, I can't wait. On Tuesday. Seriously, if I was able to stream, massive. maybe I would have done a stream on this. Hope you're able to make it. Anyway, but my PC is not strong. Enough. How might copyright law apply in the future, I hope, guys. Well, there are three and girls. basic requirements that a work needs to meet in order to be protected by copyright. The work must be one, original. It has to be independently created. It can't be copied from something else. Two, okay. creative. A work needs to demonstrate a small amount of creativity. And finally, three, <laughs> it needs to be fixed. A work must be fixed in a tangible medium of expression. And this includes digital works, even if you can't technically touch them. If it can be copied or transmitted, it's tangible as far as copyright law is concerned. So, based on these rules, something like, say, a recipe can't actually be copyrighted. Yeah, I was really surprised by this one, too. According to the courts, uh -huh. copyright protection doesn't apply to any sort of procedure or listing of facts, which is how they classify recipes. Legally, recipes aren't Okay. If you want to make this product, here is the step-by-step -step procedure on how you make that product, and are thus not copyrightable works. But just Tell a recipe, like not the actual finished product. On how to that can see Cup right. something that you can buy at Nikea. However, if said recipe were written in a more creative way, like say it was written as part of a longer story, or it was in a shorter poem, or it was illustrated, or heck, even if you're talking about a collection of recipes like in a cookbook, which has creative direction hey, that girl. order of recipes, I forgot her name, but she's awesome. instructions, page layouts, things like that, then that and would you're be awesome as well. just not the individual recipes themselves. Besides, recipes are tough no matter Here what. Here we go with the first ad. Set of instructions for making oh, something. I can what this is going to be about. Yep, just a disappointment. Like 99% of all YouTube ads. They are an yeah. invitation to we have to live with them. So then At least it's not a R18 ad that I see on Vivo.com. Unlike recipes, it's not just a listing of ingredients. Furthermore, Section 101 kind of. of Title 17 United States Code explicitly extends copyright protections to, quote, pictorial, graphic, or sculptural work, which could extend to cake designs. I mean, let's face it, <laughs> I've watched a lot of Cake Boss, and Ace of Cakes, and Food Network Challenge, and Great British Bake Off, and Nailed It, and okay, I've watched a a lot of cake shows and the stuff that they're creating is beautiful or at least it's supposed to be beautiful and that's also nice come on intricate design and detail like a sculpture look at this and tell me that this isn't a work of art or a work of who's going to eat this? this or this there are tons of people out there who are taking traditional cake design and giving it an original creative twist take this amazing <laughs> hedgehog cake for example an There's evil a cake argument to be made that this cake would be protected by copyright as it hits all three of our major checkboxes 
cake is a tangible medium of expression, this piece is undeniably creative, and in terms of originality, well, it's certainly not as though a hedgehog cake gets busted out at every birthday party you've ever been to. And when someone else decides to make their own hedgehog cake, it's not like they're gonna independently arrive at a similar design with the same color palette or detailing. It could very well turn out looking like this. There are countless Whoa. creative decisions that went into this cake design. Heck, <laughs> hey, as long as it tastes good, this hedgehog is an original you don't know character. how it tastes. You don't have you can't judge a book by its cover. Any tangible thing that Sonic looks so amazing in that photo. By copyright, and that That's the best Sonic cake. art you can so find on the internet. That cakes can indeed be Original art. For the exact same reasons that inedible sculptures can be copyrighted. But it doesn't mean that every cake can be copyrighted. The three checkboxes have hmm. to be applied on a case-by-case -case or cake-by-cake -cake basis. So then what about this sweet really no. cake? It obviously checks the box for creativity and it's absolutely fixed in a tangible medium, both as a 3D cake and as a 2D picture, but the weak link in the argument seems to be the originality checkbox. It's hmm. just a simple cake design, and that could be its downfall where copyright protection's concerned. Of course, Ray Holloway didn't straight up rip off this cake from somebody else the way Miley Cyrus did to her, but every aspect of the cake's design has been seen on plenty Those of cartoony eyes. A circular shape is not unique. White frosting, very common. Pink writing, multicolored sprinkles, a handwritten message on top. We have seen all of those things time and time again. Though I'll admit those elements can sometimes come together to make a very, very strong point. So hey, don't try to hypnotize me. I already subscribed to you. On it. Right now, by clicking the red subscribe button beneath this video and also oh, the your argument sticking hey, to the Ace wall, as with food theory, if our cake design ever got copied, obviously it's not the colors or the shape or the lettering that makes this cake stand out, though. It's the message. And that underlining the of the word is, if a novel can be copyrighted, can a short expression like this be copyrighted for the it same reason? It kind of feels like this all, video is about it makes her supporting abortion, and I'm not really comfortable mistake. about this. Well, the argument probably isn't going to go in her favor there either. Oh, According sure, to the because... U.S. Copyright Office, quote, words and short phrases such as names, titles, and slogans are uncopyrightable because they contain an insufficient can you see, amount of Can you guys see Goku here? The will not here register go. individual words or brief combinations of words, even if the word or short phrase is novel, distinctive, or lends itself to a play on words. As a result, the phrase is not eligible for copyright protection. See, I underlined the word not there, it added emphasis, but it also didn't add anything copyrightable. However, not all hope is lost. Just because a given piece of intellectual property isn't protected by copyright doesn't necessarily mean it's not protected. Allow me to pull up a chair, flip it around backwards, and sit on it cool teacher style. Because it's time cool we American... the difference between Wait, copyright no, Captain America style. and trademark. Now, all three protect intellectual property, but they all protect different types of intellectual property. To simplify it down perhaps too far, copyrights are for works of art, patents are for new inventions, and trademarks are that looks branding. amazing. Now, Ray Holloway's cake most certainly isn't a candidate that for edgy car. The cake, nor she by the way, I'm so having my car uh, exam well, tomorrow. Be the Driver. Driver's license exam, so uh, names, please pray logo, for me, guys. Even colors I'm gonna do it. Like Blue, T -Mobile, Magenta, UPS Brown. So it's pertinent to our cake discussion because trademarks are Dang. a way to protect short phrases. Wendy's trademarked their famous slogan of Where's the Beef? And VA coach Pat Riley trademarked the phrase three peats. But an important distinction to make here is that just because these phrases are trademarked doesn't mean that people can't say them. Just watch me do it. Three peat. Three peat, three peat, three peat. See, nothing happened to me. However, <laughs> if I were to put that phrase onto a shirt and sell it, That's great. That, that was we nice. might need to have a conversation with old Pat Riley over there. See, the trademarked Probably. item must be used in a commercial setting to obtain protection from the law. And this right here makes it pretty tough to argue that Miley Cyrus infringed upon anyone's trademark because it's not like Miley Cyrus was selling the cake. But can she make a money off of Instagram? She's a celebrity activist using the cake to promote a political message. Where trademark law is concerned, it's hardly different than if Miley Cyrus had made a sign and held it up at a political rally, as many others have done and will continue to do. And on top of all, how is she not tackled there? For Ray Holloway to prove that the phrase was her original work, <laughs> that now feels that the phrase is present across the internet on T-shirts, stickers, blogs, even introduced legislation. And what's more, the phrase was in circulation years before Ray Holloway's cake hit the scene. Which means, huh. as a whole, there's really nothing copyrightable or trademarkable about this cake. Because so she was Ray wrong. Holloway was right to expect credit for inspiring the cake, because let's face it, it's hard to deny that Miley or her team were inspired by the creative design of that cake. Yeah, Ray true. Holloway would be on shaky 
ground if she were to follow through and try to sue for copyright or trademark infringement. That, my friends, is why you don't get legal advice. Man, show us Phoenix Wright. The worst irony of all showing him is copyright. Right, I, think? Cyrus, I mean, CII why doesn't he show him? He shows the judge. And if Cyrus had simply reached out to the sweet feminist for a collaboration to begin with, that would have truly been the best of both worlds. But hey, that's <laughs> just a theory, a food wow. theory. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching. I wish I could cut, for example, my water bottle, and it turns out it's cake. Then again, that's probably impossible because this is see-through, you know? Uh, if it wasn't see-through, then maybe <laughs> it could have been possible. But uh, I don't have a cake expert in uh, the place where I live, and even if I had, I doubt that he would come to my house just to uh, make my turn my water bottle into a cake. <laughs> Anyways, guys, <laughs> that was me reacting to Fruit Furious News video. If you want to see more Fruit Furious reactions, let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe, and activate that beautiful bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.